What's up everybody? Sean Bicking, 570 Sports here. Here with Holy Cross Varsity Girls Team. Uh, I'm going to start off with these two right here. Girls, want to introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Caitlin Bistricki. I'm Julia Getz. Okay, and you guys are both juniors? Seniors. Seniors, seniors. yeah. Okay. Oh, this is easy then. So, start off real easy. Um, you guys officially started the season, I guess, yesterday with the scrimmage, right? Yeah. It was it was good, you know. It was a good starter. I mean, what's the expectation of the scrimmage? Just to see like where you guys are, or I mean, because you don't you don't face that team during the season, right? No, no, we've been scrimmaging them every year now, so you know it's good to play someone who's not in our league. Right, right. Mm -hmm. okay. You know. And then, what do you like, get from a scrimmage, though? Like, as far as like personally, like anything you have to work on, or you want to try something out? I mean, because it doesn't count, so. Right. I feel like it's to see like where the team's at, especially like going into like the season, mm -hmm. to see like how we're working together, especially since like we lost two of our starters from last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say the same. We already watched the scrimmage day in practice, mm -hmm. and there's definitely things that we need to work on, and there were things that we did good, so it's nice to point those out too. Now you guys have been I'm not practicing, but in the gym for for quite a while now, correct? Yeah. Yes. I, I, again, I know how. It's been a couple of months and there's, there's no summer, there's no break really. I mean, how do you guys handle that? Do you like that? Do you prefer like maybe not be so strict? Or? Um, I mean, I like it because, you know, it's just, it just keeps me from doing nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but being with the team like all the time is fun and like we're all close friends. So it's really nice. Right, right. Pretty much the same. I had tennis season, so I had a little bit of a break, but I would always like pop in here and there and like join the team, so it's always fun. Talk about that, playing like multiple sports. Like, why do you think that's important for just athletes in general? Um, I like it because tennis like allows me to do some like conditioning that's different than the conditioning we do in basketball. Mm -hmm. So it helps me like improve like sliding and like moving around in different ways. Um, it also like keeps me like busy and active, right. so I don't have like time off, and I'm, my body's just like sitting there. So I like uh, it a lot. I don't think people realize how like physically like fit you have to be for tennis, because like you're constantly moving. It's not right. just like you're hitting the ball back and forth. It's like you gotta go. Yeah, it's yeah. a big change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, talk about um, Holy Cross, like in general. Like you guys have been seniors, you've been there for a while, so you kind of know what the, the culture is. Like, right. what's that like? It's definitely like a family, like a small family, which is nice. Like, you know, like everyone there, even kids that aren't in your class. So I think it's really nice to be able to like, you know, say hi and like make friends with everyone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm very close with like the underclassmen and like people from every grade. So it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun. I mean, when you say small, there's like what, maybe three, four hundred people? <laughs> yeah, like, <Total>. like 350, <laughs> I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, my son Austin, he's a freshman there, and I remember him telling me he's like he knew like it was small going in, but he didn't realize like how small I guess. Yeah. Um, you just run into everybody. He said like. Yeah, so. I have like a class with like ten kids in it, so yeah. it's pretty small. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Uh, talk about playing for coach again, guys. Senior, so you've been been there for four years now, or this will be your fourth year. What's that like? What's he What's he help with your game? Um, he like. He definitely helps us out, like, he's a good coach, uh, he's always pointing out, like, what we need to work on, and, like, he's always saying, like, what we did good, so, but he's, like, he also cares about, like, our personal life and things like that, like, he knows pretty much everything about you, so. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good thing, yeah. Yeah, pretty much same. I mean, he points out, like, everything from, like, especially watching film, like, he sees, like, stuff, like, I don't see. And he just helps out, like, he notices, like, stuff that, like, we don't notice in games. So, mm -hmm. he helps, like, all aspects of the game. So, you guys mentioned watching film today. Is that, yeah. like, a normal thing, like, every practice, like, after every game? Or? I would say so, yeah. yeah. And we definitely do it, like, um, before a game, like, to prep for a team, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll probably watch, like, uh, Scranton soon because they're our yeah. first game. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, we don't just watch ourselves, we watch like what other teams do, so. Right, right. Speaking of Scranton, um, the Lionette tournament, that's always a big thing, kind of right in the beginning of the year there. Yeah. Almost like a, like a base test to see where you guys are. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, it hasn't been the best success recently <laughs> for you guys in it, but 
I mean, tell me why this year is different. Just talk about, you know, the line in general, what that means to you guys. Especially being seniors, this is your right. last, last chance. Yeah. Um, I would say it's definitely really important because it is a big thing around here. And, like, we weren't – the girls' team wasn't always in it. It was – I think my freshman year was the first year they were in it. So – but, yeah, it hasn't been the best for us. But it's definitely, like, one of our goals this year to – win it right. so just all depends on you know what happens right. so especially after last year like how we played last year mm -hmm. i know like the whole team wasn't happy with it yeah. so coming out this year a lot of us want like revenge kind of in a way right. so we want to come out like strong and like yeah. see how far we could get okay so so would that be would you say that's the first goal of the season is maybe going the line at like yeah, I'd say timetable wise. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would say. I mean, obviously, the first goal is go one and out, but. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. The first big goal, I guess. Yeah. Be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have big goals this year, so. Okay. Uh, talk to me about, again, because I kind of know a little bit what goes on there um, restrictions that you guys have on you. Um, you guys practice with masks on fully. Yeah. You're running, playing the games fully with masks. I mean, even going back to last year, I mean. What do you guys think about that? I mean, it's something you can't control, but I mean. Um, I mean, it's, it definitely like has a little bit of an effect on you, mm -hmm. but it's, it's really not terrible. Uh, if other teams aren't wearing them, they like might have a slight advantage, but it's, it's just like to keep us safe. So right. you could understand it a little. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it helps with conditioning a little bit too. And like breathe. Uh, breath control. That's a good point. Yeah. I didn't really think about that. Yeah. I always think it'd like, you know, it be a restriction or like hamper you, but yeah, that's, that's a good point. Um, talk about last year a little bit. Um, crazy year, obviously, with, with everything happening and yeah. didn't know if there was going to be a season and stuff getting canceled left and right. I yeah. mean, how, how do you guys deal with that? Like, I mean, I guess just not knowing. Yeah, we definitely had a scare last year at the end of the year with like, um, all the teams getting COVID, like we had a quarantine and our whole team had to get tested and thankfully we were all negative. So uh, we were able to keep playing in the district playoffs, but our boys team, they weren't so lucky and they had to sit out. So it was hard for them, you know. We said like we were going to go out and we were going to win for like our boys team. So mm -hmm. yeah, cool. but it was definitely different. Yeah. So a lot of ups and downs, kept us on our toes. A lot of isolation, but it was yeah. it was good. A lot of zooms. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. A lot of zooms. Yeah. Um, so talk about the boys team a little bit. I mean, is it like a not a rivalry, but like you guys see each other obviously throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of like we're gonna be better than you, or you know? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Again, I have a son playing there, so I'm, I'm going to be partial, but I, I think the girls might be a little better than <laughs> Hey, maybe we'll have to play a game or something. Mm -hmm. Hey, that would be a fun scrimmage. Maybe That's the only way yeah. to prove it, so. Yeah. You hear that, boys? Let's we'll see. But um, talk about uh, last year's run, too. Um, you guys went pretty far. Um, and again, you had two seniors, you said, uh, Abby, replacing... Talk about Abby, replacing somebody like Abby. What's that gonna be like? It's a big change, especially like her on defense and hitting the boards. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we're trying to focus on right now is rebounds. Yeah. Because it's a big loss when she left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she always had like those rebound points and <laughs> like those scrappy points and yeah. they always were, like they always counted and helped us in the game. So and we're definitely gonna miss that. Yeah, so. I, I can't remember, I was at probably like maybe 10 games last year. I, I can't remember a game where she wasn't wrestling with somebody on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. At least once or twice a game. But, um, so, obviously, the uh, we talked about the first goal being the line-out tournament. Mm -hmm. And after that, what do, we, what, do we, what do we think? I'm hoping for another district championship. I mean, um, as, as seniors, I mean... Yeah, it would be a huge disappointment if anything short, right? It would. It was dif it was disappointing our sophomore year when we didn't win. So, hoping we're not having that feeling again. Right. So, do you guys use that as motivation though? Like, yeah, we got this far, but we know like we get stuck yeah. now. Yeah, like I I personally do it. Uh, I would say our whole team does it. Like, we don't want that feeling. So, 
we want Especially to win. after like last year, we knew we could have made it farther. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us just are just looking back on it and we're just trying to use that as motivation to get even further. Sounds good, I like it. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck. How Thank you. you. See plenty of you guys um, throughout the year. So good luck. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sean Bacon here at 570 Sports, here for our second batch of interviews with the Holy Cross Varsity Girls Basketball Team. Girls? I'm Caitlin Farrell. I'm Krista Caragula. And you guys are junior, senior? Seniors. Seniors. Oh, I got a senior. Right? <laughs> it's easy. So, again, I'll kind of ask you guys, maybe around the same stuff. Um, being seniors, um, your last run, tell me what you guys can improve on from last year? Mm. I think just executing our offense a little bit better, like our timing is sometimes really off, but um, that's, that's like the main thing that I think we're working on this year. I think since we're all like seniors and like we're all friends, mm -hmm. I think that we could work really well together on like on the court because we're all like really close. Talk to me about like, communication on the court. How, how important is that? Like, not even defensively, I think it's important too, but even offensively, like setting each other up and stuff like that. Yeah, I think like the chemistry this year is good like across all of our teammates. It's obviously different losing um, Abby and Ferg, mm -hmm. but um, our scrimmage went pretty well with communication, I feel like, and in practice, like we have good flow. I agree. So you guys being seniors, you're kind of like the leaders of the team, right? Like all, all you seniors. How many seniors is there all together? No, I think there's seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of together, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of experience, mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool. Um, obviously, uh, like playing with somebody like Casey, Abby, and even Emily, um, how much pressure does that take off of you guys? A good amount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, how hard is it to not like, kind of just during the games, like you're on the floor, but you're kind of just staring? Yep. I learn a lot from them. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. nice having them to like rely on mm -hmm. on the on the court. So you always know like they're gonna bring it like a hundred percent. Right. So. But I'm sure that they expect the same from you guys, correct? Yeah, mm -hmm. they make everyone want to work harder. Right. And at, at, at the moment, say Casey's in foul trouble or something, you guys definitely step up. Mm -hmm. I like the confidence. I like it. Talk to me about um, uh, cross country. Yeah, um, I went to States this year. Mm. Last year I missed it by one spot because of the COVID restrictions and all that, so I was really happy that I made it this year. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And, and again, uh, playing different sports, like doing different activities and stuff, like how does that help you with, with basketball? Running definitely helps me stay conditioned for basketball. Like I don't go to conditioning for basketball because I'm already running, so right. it helps. That's a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get out of it because of that? Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, because cross country was just just wrapped up, correct? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and again, they've been in the gym for a little while now. Yeah. So, uh, talk to me about um, you guys have been playing basketball your lives, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. right? What's some of your inspirations? Um. Well, I don't really like watch like college basketball, or, like the NBA or anything. I just like the team aspect of the sport, mm -hmm. and like how everyone has to work together to win, so. Okay. Same with me, I just, I enjoy basketball because my Even friends are there. basketball, yeah. it's just like growing up, I mean, your parents, you look inspiration and Yeah. Older my, siblings. My parents are good role models, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Important. Talk to me about Holy Cross, again, we, we talked before, it's a small school, but it's in Dunmore. It, do you guys consider Dunmore like a rival? There's always like that tension between uh, the two schools. Mm. Uh, that's across like any sport that we play them in. But um, they're definitely a good team. Don't give them credit. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to be no, they're they're a good team. <laughs> I cannot take that away from them. But uh, it's always an interesting game. I feel like there's always a lot of uh, there's always a lot of fans at that game for like a girls basketball game. Mm. So yeah. Any other rivals you guys, well, any other teams you guys consider rivals? Mm, I'd say Riverside. Mm -hmm. um, last year we played them once and we lost, I forget by how many points, but it wasn't a lot. And mm -hmm. our very last game that we were supposed to play for the league got 
canceled because of COVID, so we never got that second shot. Yeah, that's tough. Uh, talk about last year for you guys. How do how you guys deal with that, like personally? Like COVID? Yeah, like um, the restrictions and everything going on. It was a, uh, it was tough, like just trying to stay safe, and it was so like, um, it was difficult because if one person got sick, then that was just, like shut down the whole program. But yeah. That's, that's what happened with Delmar, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's, I'm, I'm kind of glad that we're not in the clear, but I mean, somewhat past that now. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, do you guys have any like worries going in this year? Like something could happen? I mean, I think anything could happen. It's just, it, I, the masks, I don't know if um, we're wearing them, are we? Uh, we've been talking about whether or not we're wearing masks. We wear them. Optional. You don't have to. Um, I think our school, it, it might, it depends yeah. on like what the diocese decides, okay. but we wear them at practice still. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't know if we'll wear them to play or not. The boys, Coach Glaze is really strict on that. He makes them wear them practice everything. So I that's how um, um, fits us. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's a personal choice, obviously. But do you guys think it, it helps or hurts or? <laughs> it's. It just keeps us safe. I mean, yeah. it does help because it's keeping us safe. I feel like since last year we wore them, it mm -hmm. we're just used to it now. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. You guys I, wear them in school, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we have to wear them. So, yeah, it's just like all day. Yeah. yeah. You don't get a break. That's cool. Um, so coming up this year, uh, we talked about the Lineette tournament. Um, and you guys have played in it before, obviously. What does Lineette tournament mean, mean to you guys? Uh, it just means tough competition to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would be nice to make it to like the final round. So you never know what could happen. Well, what's stopping you guys? What do you think? What's holding you back? Is it just the other teams, or something you guys aren't doing, or just mm. bad luck? What? I don't know. I think I think we have to go in with a better mindset. I don't think uh, as a team we've like really realized how much it could mean to win it. Mm -hmm. So, but I think this year we're pretty excited for it, going into it. So Holy Cross in, in general has a, a decent history of both boys and girls, and you walk into that gym, there's banners everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what that means, just walking into that gym and seeing that. We just want to get our number up there the year. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. And then we see the boys have their line at champion banners yeah. up there, so that'd be cool to get ours up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I feel the same way. So let's make it a banner year. Mm -hmm. All the way around. Yep. We're going to line district, we're going to line up, everything. Mm -hmm. I like to hear it. All right, girls, well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Best of luck, and I'll definitely be seeing you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Back again, right back at you with uh, Casey Cranston and Molly White this time, two Holy Cross seniors who've. Uh, Obviously a well accomplished. Uh, Miley's a district champion in the high jump. Casey's just a champion, <laughs> a district champion quite a few times, but how are you guys doing? Very good, Pretty how are good. you? Very, uh, can't complain, I mean, I could complain, but, you know, <laughs> but uh, what do you guys, what are you guys thinking going into the season this year? Um, I think we just have like a mindset of just playing game by game, doing our best, working hard on the floor, off the floor, and just like having that mindset. Right. So, I mean, as everybody knows, you guys lose, uh, you lose Abby Landowski because she graduated. Uh, how do you guys plan on filling her shoes? Um, I mean, I think it's going to be tough, but we have a really good team uh, filled with experience. Uh, most of us have played four years, three years on varsity. So I think we're excited to go out. Obviously, it's going to be hard trying to fill their shoes, but do our best at, at trying to recover from that. Right. Um, so this off season, I know you play with NEPA Elite. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you What have you uh, worked on as far as your game? Honestly, um, working with all those like talented, hardworking girls, such as like Sierra Toomey, Kylie Lovell, Mariah Murray, Kaylee Wernowski, Maria Velarde, um, all of them. It just I feel like they push me to work very hard in practice and the games and just playing against like competition down there in like Texas, Spooky Nook. Um, it's just like pushed me to work hard and um, just to be my best and it was just fun working with all those girls because they're all like so nice, so talented and it's just, it was great. 
Right. Good experience. Right. So, I, I, I'm sorry, I had to bring it up. I, it might, you guys might get upset. You guys might cry. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it works. But last season, yeah. you guys, you guys, uh, you guys get to the uh, semifinals. Yeah. And you guys had the game right in the grasp of your hands, and it kind of got away. Do you guys kind of like have a sour taste in your mouth? Yeah, we definitely do, but I think it's fuel for this year, and we now know how far we can get. Um, and coach reminds us that you know we, we had that game, and we're working this year to fix all the mistakes we made that cost us the game. Right. So, Casey, a question that I never answered you, but I, I was saving it to ask you on camera because I want to see your natural reaction. Um, in that game, you know, late in that mm -hmm. game, you drive to the basket. Foul or no foul? Um, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's up to the refs, but... It was a foul. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was other shots I could have made to, like, help out the score at the end, but I think it just gives us, like Molly said, feel for this year to, you know, like, we could see how far we can go in the state championship, so... I mean, I don't know. Whatever, you know. I mean, do you, do you feel like if that call that everyone believes was a foul, like at least all the locals believe was a foul, do you feel like if they call that call that may have changed the outcome of the game? I mean, anything could have changed the outcome of the game. Like, if I made some more, like, layups, if I made some threes, I mean, I feel like anything could have changed the outcome of the game. Right, right, right. So, talk about the bus ride home from that game. <laughs> what was that like? Um, well, it was kind of a bumpy ride. Uh, I don't know if there's something, something with the tires of the bus. So. I think we got lost too. <laughs> we did get lost. Um, we couldn't make it up one of the hills. That was a little scary. But um, I mean, it was sad because, again, we spent so many years with our, our seniors last year, and um, you know, it was like our last ride with them. But again, I mean, every year that we've lost on the way home, Casey and I always say we're we're making it further mm -hmm. next year. We're right. taking another step farther. So um, we had that. To kind of look forward to. Right. Yeah. You feel like a state championship kind of got away from you guys? Um, you never know what can happen, but I just feel like we're just like a goal-oriented team. So I feel like that's our main goal this year is full first line at district and then state because I feel like our team can make it there this year. Right. Well, speaking of line at, you know, this year you guys <laughs> coming a little different and you guys got, um, you know, you guys, you guys got some young players, you got to say. Yeah. Um, what are you thinking? What are you thinking the line at tournament will be like this year? Uh, it's definitely going to be a tough competition with Dunmore, Scranton, and Prep. They all have real great players, talented. I think we just got to come with the mindset that we can play with them, and just whoever I feel like works hard at that game will get the win. Right. Do you guys, I mean, Prep loses Rachel Rose. They lose Cecilia Counts. Two, um, obviously, two Division One athletes that we're mm -hmm. watching on, on TV. Killing it, too. Uh, yeah, they are killing it. <laughs> they are definitely killing it. But do you feel like if, if there was a year that you guys can be prepped, this is it? Um, they still have some really good players on their team, but um, every year we want to go in with the mindset that it's either team's game, and if we have the opportunity to go as far as we can in that tournament, it's, it's such a big tournament for everyone that's in there. Um, but I think no matter who wins, it's going to be some good games. Right. How, 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 uh, how big is it for Holy Cross to win that tournament? It's definitely a big one for the girls' side because we've never won one. And um, our freshman year was actually our first time in the tournament, so it's definitely going to be a big win if we win it because then we'll have a banner on the board on our wall right. for, for the first time. I think if you guys win it, I think the whole, a lot of people celebrate <laughs> because, uh, uh, you know, just the fact that Dunmore is such a great basketball team and if somehow you guys were able to upset them, people would go crazy because Dunmore has a lot of haters. <laughs> so does Holy Cross. <laughs> All the private schools have yeah. games, you know. I, I don't. I mean, Dunmore's not a private school. They just they just win. But They're just very talented. They, yeah. I mean, the the basketball community in uh, mm -hmm. Dunmore area is very very yeah. crazy over there. <laughs> it's very competitive. So that's how kids get so good. But Molly, so I wanted to ask you uh, on camera because after you won the high jump last year, I didn't even get to see you. I think I got to take a picture and then. It was just so much going on. Yeah, it was but, crazy. But like, I mean, no one expect no like. I looked at the paper. I didn't even. I overlooked you completely. I didn't even think anything of it. No one like thought that you were gonna win it. Like, what was it like to become a district high jump? Um, it was crazy. Um, I went into the season with no expectations. I was just there 
to keep myself in shape for basketball. Um, and then I started winning a couple meets. Um, I ended up going undefeated, which was crazy, but I didn't know what I was going to be meeting in the district because, again, I, I've never been there before. Um, so to win was, def it was a really uh, cool thing. But yeah. right. I was going to say, I'm so proud of her because, like, whatever Molly puts her mind to, she works so hard at it. So she really deserved that. Right, Excuse right. So I was just standing, I, I can't think of, I was sitting down and one of the Holy Cross <laughs> guys came up to me. He ran up to me, he's like, Molly won, Molly White won the high jump. And I was like, I, I turned around like, huh? Molly White won the high jump. I'm like, really, where is she? I'm like, damn, I didn't know that. Like, and I'm yeah. like, so, so here's the thing, like, they give you a, a pamphlet, like it's like this thick of all the different winners mm -hmm. and all the different times and everything. And I looked at it, but I didn't even think, I didn't even think to look at that, but I'm like, wow. And I had to go find you, and I said, congratulations, you yeah. know, because I, I, a lot of people weren't expecting that, but I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you won it. Thank you. So and This is our new track star this year. Oh, you're running track this year? I think so. Oh, what events do you plan on running? Not sure yet. I'm, I, I'm thinking maybe sprints. Okay. She won't do high jump with me. Yeah, That's I, all Molly. High jump is, uh, <laughs> is uh, all about technique. Yeah. You know? So you get that technique down, you'll be all right. Hey, but Molly, is, Kyle, is uh, track and field something you want to do in college? Um, kind of. Um, obviously, my academics come first when it comes to college. So if a school that wants me for track is lines up with what I want to do, um, then I'll do it. But other than that, I'm just really focusing on uh, academics. Right. And back to basketball. Casey, how far can we get this year? Um, for the high school team, yeah. I definitely think we can get far with our team. It's definitely a rebuilding year uh, since we lost Ferg and Abby, but the girls that just stepped up, I, I think we can have a great year this year. Like I said, we're definitely a goal-oriented goal team, and definitely Lynette, definitely the district. That's like our main goal this year to get back at the arena, and I think we can make it in the state championship. Right, right. I mean, so last year you had your, your I don't want to say counterpart, like your co-star was Abby. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me who's going to be your co-star this year. Are you, are you guys still trying to figure that out? Honestly, I think everyone on the team is going to be like equal. I feel like we're just all different, and I think we all contribute to the team. Right. Molly, you now step up into that starting role. What's, what's that feel like? Um, it's a responsibility, but it's something I've been working for the past couple of years. Um, wherever the team needs me, that's what I want to do. Um, I don't really care if I'm coming off the bench or if I'm starting. Obviously, starting is the goal, but um, just as long as we can win, that's all right. I care about. Right. So, Casey, last year after the district championship, I mean, you guys beat Old Forge. Mm -hmm. But one thing that, I, that always sticks in my memory from that game is it's not even, actually not the game, after the game, and you ran up to when you ran up to uh, Olivia Chula and gave her a hug. Walk me through that moment. Um, well, me and Liv Chula are really close. We go to the same gym together three times a week. We used to before she went to college. So we're like, we're really tight. And I, I, going into that game, I knew one of us was going to lose. And I just felt bad because I know that was her last game playing for high school season. So it kind of just made me emotional. Right. And I just wanted to show her that, like, I knew, like, you know, I was there for her. Right. Well, so the year before she gets you, and then yeah. you, you, you got to pay her back, right? Yeah. It's payback time? Well, talk about the experience in it, just being in the arena and playing in a big game of that magnitude. It's definitely a different environment. Uh, last year, since we were in Atlanta fans and just having all our parents there, all fans, like the boys team, it was just a great experience to have them there cheering us on it, against Old Forge too because they're a great team. And just winning it, it was just exceptional. Right, right. How, so, I mean, this year, I, I, from what I'm hearing, I don't know, don't, don't quote me on it, but from what I'm hearing, you guys are allowed to have four fans, is that, is that right? Yeah. So like a mom, a dad, a grandma, and a grandpa? <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Maddie. <laughs> Maddie. No, with Shout no out student Maddie. section? No. So will that, will that kind of affect you guys a little bit? Or? Um, I think it won't, basically because we didn't have anyone last year. So right. having anyone at all will feel nice. But um, we're going to be able to have student sections at other games that have a higher capacity and um, we're also looking to move some of our games to other sites so that we can have people there but um, yeah I think in one way it'll hurt because you can't have everyone that you want there but in another way we're just lucky that we can have people right so what's odd about that situation is we're you're limiting people in our gym but on the road people are 
we're still gonna be around the same people. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. Do I need to call call the diocese? <laughs> yeah. Do I need to hit them up and say, yo, what's up with this? <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. We're just lucky that we get to have our family this year. Yeah. Nope. That's all that counts. No doubt about it. Because I mean, it mean it, it really you go up to North Pocono and those kids are holding newspapers and doing crazy yeah, stuff nuts. like that. That uh, it may not affect every every single person, but it affects some. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it, it, I mean, what if it comes down to a one point game and you need this person to miss a free throw yeah. Yeah. and you don't have your friends behind you? You got a bunch of parents, you know, that really can't really get into it like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. there's some crazy parents out oh, there. Yeah. Claire Marion's mom, she was crazy. <laughs> you know? uh, uh, Rachel McDonald's mom was pretty crazy too. But oh, I love Lovey. She's such there. a nice lady. There's definitely some crazy ones out there. So, uh, who is your favorite basketball player? Man, that's tough. I was a big Kobe Bryant fan. Um, I like Jason Tatum. I'm a Celtics fan, so. Okay. Well, um, but I like Damian Lillard too. Oh, you got a long list. Yeah. Who's your favorite? Um, probably Steph Curry. Curry. I just like his motivation for the game. Yeah, I, I, you know what I like about Seth Curry is I like how much fun he's having when mm -hmm. he's playing. Like, I know it's cocky and stuff go like this and <laughs> back and all that. I know it's cocky, but if you could, if you got it, you got it. You yeah, got it, you got to show it. You know, you got to show. He's it. confident in himself. I like that. Right. So you're pulling up to the game, in your whatever vehicle you're driving. What's <laughs> it, what are you playing? Oh, <laughs> Casey has some good answers for this one. You go first. Um, I, it depends on the mood. Um, I usually like to play like rap or hip hop or R&B or something, well, but, what uh, artists? I don't know, before a game, usually like Meek Mill. Oh, um, oh you're, you're thugging it. <laughs> <laughs> Meek Mill, J. Cole is one of my favorites too. <laughs> um, Casey's Thanks. got some better ones. <laughs> we, got, we got Gangsta Molly in the building. Hello. I don't really <laughs> have like a main like person I listen to, I kind of just like hit <laughs> pop and then I just kind of yeah. listen to that. She listens to Titanium by Sia <laughs> on full blast in her car. I don't, I mean, that kind of pumps me up. Right. So, <laughs> what, what, uh, what aspect of the game comes easy for you? Um, I, I'd have to say maybe defense or, uh, or assists. Um, it's really easy having someone like Casey to throw the ball to. Um, and trying to get steals, trying to get rebounds, deflections, stuff like that. I, it's just something that's kind of natural. Right. What aspect comes easiest for you? I mean, just like basing off what Molly said, I feel like my teammates like get open very easily. They set screens for myself, so I feel like assists and just coming off the screens because of my teammates are right. easiest come. Right. So how about last, last? So two years ago, you were not a great free throw shooter, <laughs> and then no. last year you like jumped like almost twenty percent. No. 30%, like, what, what have you done to improve your free throw shooting? Um, yeah, so for freshman year, I think I was like 40% from the line, which was very embarrassing. So mm -hmm. I worked real hard, so I'd go from lessons, shooting free throws, I would go, I'd go before practice and after practice shooting free throws, because I just wanted to get better at it. Right. Do you feel, do you feel like it's a, do you feel like it's kind of like a mental thing with the free throws? 100%, yeah. I feel like it's definitely all mental. I feel like when you're tired, it's just gonna throw your game right off. Right, and you, I mean, you've improved your free throw shooting, you've also improved your three point shooting as well. So those are, those are some things. Molly, are we gonna get you to step outside behind the arc or what? <laughs> um, maybe. Maybe? Yeah. I, I don't remember you shooting a three last year at all. I don't think I did last year at all. <laughs> um, the year before I did, but last year I didn't Well, we need to get you at yeah. least take one or two yeah. every game. Come on. This is Molly Wood we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. We got to get some three-point shots up. Uh, so, Case, you're talking about running track. Yes. Do, what makes you want to run track? Is it people talking to you or do you feel like you got some speed? I just feel like it's senior year, go out with a bang. I mean, I want to keep busy during my senior year since there's no AAU. So I kind of just thought of picking up track. Mm -hmm. Not All my idea. friends do it, so I was like, why not? Not a bad idea. And you joined tennis two years ago. I did. You, you had fun with tennis? I did. That was, that was actually a sport my sister played, so I, I wasn't sure if we are going to have a season for basketball last year, so I wanted to stay conditioned, so I just joined tennis. Right. How hard is tennis? It, people don't think it's hard, but it's actually really hard. It's so different because you got to have a different stroke for the ball, and it's a lot of running, a lot of conditioning. Right, right, right. And I mean, 
Two years ago, you guys went undefeated. Mm -hmm. Last year, you guys, this year, you guys went undefeated too, right? Uh, no, Maddie was actually third single and I was a doubles with Priscilla Girl. Okay, okay. And softball. Let's talk about, so last year you guys had an amazing softball year. Yeah. You guys got really far and I was up there at, uh, what were we like, Elk Lake or Blue Ridge was it? Elk Lake, yeah. The district championship. Talk about, talk about that game and how, how, uh, how, you know, how, how tough it was to actually lose that game on like, I think the girl had a walk off right at the end, right? Can yeah. So that? that game was, we knew coming into that game, that game was going to be a tough game going up to Elk Lake, but it was especially tough since I broke my arm. Right. in the third inning, but it was just a tough loss, so I feel like it's going to motivate us for this year that we could um, hopefully win the district this year. Right, so this was like a trap question. I asked you this because I wanted to set it up for this. <gasps> that, uh, what's her name? Woda? Why Woda? Why Woda? Harley? So you remember that uh, she basically hit it, she hit it inside the park home mm -hmm. run. Yeah. And you remember her coming to the end of the base and, and the collision? Yeah. Talk about that collision. Uh, Carly, uh, she's just like a fast runner, so I don't think she realized the girl was in front of her, and she just wanted to get get us a point on the board. So, I don't. She definitely didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> she's a beast, though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's for a sure. beast. Yeah, she yeah. ran through her like a <laughs> she was like, I, 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 like I was happy to get that on film. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you did too. Yeah, I, I, and I will show that every once in a while, <laughs> even though the parents get upset with me. Why are you showing this? I'm like, because I love it. <laughs> but. I mean, what the, 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 the factor of not playing with the fence, Yeah. do you see that as being the issue? Um, it was definitely tough because judging the ball, if it was going down, you definitely had to uh, dive for it because if you didn't, it was just going to roll back and it was an inside park home run. But I think that was definitely hard to like judge right. based off that field. Right. So that, that injury that you suffered that game, um, talk about the process of, of trying to come back. I mean, you missed most of the AAU games that you could have played in. Yeah. Talk about that. Um, well, when I broke my arm, I went to the ER and they told me it was going to be like two months. And that was really tough for me because this was my last AAU season. So I went down to Philly and the doctor told me um, I had a hairline fracture. So it's going to be only a couple, like a month. So I worked real hard. I went to the gym still, worked out, stayed conditioned. I actually went to backcourt hoops to still shoot, work out, just so I didn't lose, you know, the game. Right, right, right. So, I mean, holy crap, the, as the girls, at least, I don't, I don't talk about the girls sports. Girls sports are looking pretty good this year. Mm -hmm. You guys are looking pretty good softball-wise. You're pre looking pretty good uh, basketball-wise. You're looking pretty good track and field-wise and cross-country-wise. Like, everything is stacked over there. Mm -hmm. Why is it so stacked over there? I think we have a strong class, and yeah. um, a lot of our juniors are also stepping up, and, and they're going to be pretty good. Um, but we all have that mentality just to go out there and try to do our best for our school and for our, for our team. And uh, yeah, I think we're, we're all just very tight. Once again, like we're all like a family. So everything that we do, we all do it for each other. Right, right. So for states, I, I want to say states. You guys, uh, I've, seen, I've seen a couple pictures of you guys up there supporting uh, Farrell for mm -hmm. cross country. Um, talk about uh, how the student body supports each other. Uh, we're definitely really supportive of each other. Um, we knew it was going to be a big deal for Caitlin down there, so we wanted to go down and support her. And then we went up to our boys football game to support them. Um, and I think we saw that a lot this season for football especially and for soccer even. Um, everyone going out to support each other and we all just root for each other, especially like our teams root for each other, mm -hmm. so we'll go to our boys' games. The boys will come to ours. Right. Um, yeah. Right. So you guys could never win. You guys could never win uh, student section of the year ever. No. <laughs> you you, you want to know why? Because you guys just got small numbers. Yeah. yeah. You know, you guys got. I mean, it's hard for the Holy Cross to compete with North Pope now. Yeah. I mean, we were pretty hey. loud this year, though. I feel like we had a, we had some good ones. We I think our best was one year we were against Pittston and we had a whiteout. And yeah. It was nuts in there. Right, right, right. Um, Coach Fitzpatrick, or Fitzgerald, <laughs> Fitzpatrick. Let's, Fitz, Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. um, how does he, how does he uh, help you guys? I definitely think like at practice, he shows us like what to do, what we're doing wrong, what we're doing good, and to like trans uh, transfer that into the game. But I also feel like he's like supported with us in everything we do. Like for example, this um, AU season, 
Well, um, one of my first games back after breaking my arm, he actually came down and watched one of my games at Spooky Nook for AU, which I thought that was very nice of him to drive two hours to Mannheim to watch my game. And I just also in softball season, he's assistant coach, so I think he supports us in everything. Right, 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 right. So one last question before we go. What are the goals this year? Um, take every game one at a time, go as far as we can, and have a lot of fun. Right, no doubt. So, uh, let's skip over the bull crap and don't <laughs> give the technical answers. Oh, we get into the arena. I hope so. I, That's our main I goal. I see it, but I, yeah, I we like just got to do said. it. I think we just got to take game by game, game. By game. You know, just can't say we're going to the arena because we have to take game by game. You never know right. who's going to show up that game. Yeah. yeah, you guys got a target on your back. Definitely. One district championship. We got a target on your back. Mm -hmm. um, well, I want to thank you guys for coming on. Thank, thank you. Sports once again. And uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays.